This day is really about pushing your perspectives, trying something a bit different, hearing new ideas, and it's something that we really advocate because we really love creative inspiration in all of its forms. Uh, innovation and creativity can come from the least likely uh, of places and that you should look for those places you know where you find change you know the, the nooks and the crannies uh, of the world um, and that the people who can teach you the most are probably the ones that you expect to teach you the least you know the people who just don't quite fit in give them a wiggle and try and work out which finger they're thinking of you should find a difference I decided to write a sitcom called After Hours about two people who play this play music on a radio show and like the adventures that they get up to. And I got and I got really fascinated in about why you get a physical response from seeing an impossibility. One of my favourite misfits actually is a guy called Victor Lustig who sold the Eiffel Tower, it didn't even belong to him. Um, and, and he just believed that it belonged to him and he was able to con someone into buying that. We liked it best when we both wrote it. So we went back to our original way and also we liked that way because whenever we told people about it they said, I've never heard of anyone doing that before. So we thought, oh, that'd be good for the DVD extras. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make sense? Conga! It's for reason that the mascot of Falmouth is a wisp of smoke. And they tried to turn the whole of Falmouth Puritan! You, you guys, you need to vote for which prostitutes more appealing. Look at these brave people of Falmouth keeping their head up in the middle of such oppression.